What's up everyone? I'm about to put on my mascara and I thought I would pop on real quick and share with you guys like what I've been doing lately. I was having issues with the mascara going on the top of my like right here and I was constantly having to wipe it off. So a lot of you guys gave me recommendations, but also I wanted to share my lash serum. So I've been using this Grande Lash. I've actually been using this for well over a year now. I took a little bit of a break, but I just went back to using it again. And you guys, wait until you see my lashes. That stuff is incredible. And also I shared this Tula eye brightening, like under eye balm. I've been loving this as well. So I like this because if I get a little heavy with the powder under my eyes, this kind of gives it like a dewy look from within instead of looking i do wear a uh, highlighter but this just gives it a like a whole different look so i put it on under my makeup over my makeup it just kind of depends like if i get like where i have too much powder underneath my eyes i will put it on over i love it i'm gonna link all of this stuff down below for you guys because it's like all pretty new to my routine but do you see how much more like youthful it makes me look right here versus there oh i love it and sometimes i'll even put it here but mostly i keep it right here and like i said sometimes too i'll just i'm not wearing any makeup and i'll put this on and i really really love it um so that's what i've been doing with that now for my mascara a lot of you guys said that I needed a primer, so a lot of you recommended the L'Oreal primer, so I've been using that. And then I tried quite a few different mascaras. This is the one that seems to be working the best for me. So I'm gonna put my mascara on and show you how amazing that lash serum is as well. I just ordered a new one. I think that's like my third bottle. And I just get the mini one. I don't even get the, there's one that, comes in a larger bottle, like in a bigger bottle, but I just get the small one and it, it lasts a long time. And I don't, so someone actually told me, cause I shared this lash serum months ago and someone told me they worked for the distributor and that you only need one, one. Like you don't need to like dip back in at all. Just like do one stripe on each eye. It's great and it lasts forever. So what I like to do is start with the primer just on one eye and I really coat them pretty good. Okay, and then I will let that kind of dry a little bit. I actually don't let it dry completely because I feel like that doesn't give me any wiggle room to, like it can get a little like thick and spidery. Do you guys remember back when I was in high school Thick. I mean, we wore that mascara. I mean, layers of mascara. Ooh, we've come a long way. I mean, I still actually like pile it on. I'm not gonna lie. But when I was in high school, oh my gosh, we went in pretty. And then after I'm done with this eye, I moved to the other eye instead of like primer, primer, mascara, mascara. I will just do one eye at a time. I just feel like I like the results better that way okay so once i get this eye coated i go in with the mascara on this one i should let it dry a little bit look at how long those lashes are it's insane this eye's even a little bit longer, but this one too, I mean, wow. That serum really works. I just feel like having super long lashes just gives you like a little bit more of that fresh look. Look at those, you guys, so long and beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna have all of these items that I just shared with you guys linked down below, but I wanted to share that or share my mascara, like how I've been doing it lately because so many of you helped me out over on Instagram. So thank you for that. But I really am loving like all the products I've been using. Also for my brows to get that fluffy look, I've been using the NYX 
tinted brow mascara. I love this stuff. I also want to get the Anastasia like brow freeze, I think is what it's called, and give myself a little bit of that like laminated look. I don't know if I want to get my eyebrows like actually laminated. I'd rather just like kind of play. Sometimes I'll get a little bit of mascara on my eyelid by accident and I just take a spoolie and very gently just once it's dry it comes right off those are the lashes look how long they're so good okay go we got another hello fresh box we got another hello fresh thank you so much hello fresh for partnering with us on today's video you guys already know especially if you watched the last video we love hello fresh we think it's amazing if you don't know what hello fresh is it's a meal delivery service that has pre-packaged meals and it's delivered right to your door. And we think it's amazing for so many different reasons. But for us right now, especially especially with us trying to like pump out more content yeah. and kind of get things going on YouTube again, we, we're finding it really, really nice. Yeah, which is funny. I was about to go to the store. I was gonna text you because you were getting stuff for the apple cider. Like, oh, what should we do for dinner? Oh, by the way, we're making apple oh, cider yeah. margaritas for like, that we're gonna eat with our dinner. But it's nice when it comes. It's kind of like a treat. Yeah, it's very, it makes you feel a little luxury. Okay, so it comes all ready to go, pre-packaged. And it comes in this box. It literally just showed up. Just showed up. Ooh, they sent a drink. Whoa. Oh, I've tried this before. You have? Evian. I don't know, no, not this one. Evian grapefruit and basil. I love when basil's in stuff. Or on top of stuff, oh, but me like, too. it's a basil mint something. It's so good. So they send you these little cards that tell the, or like give you the step-by-step -step process on how to cook the meals. Everything's pre-portioned, so you don't really have to think. That's my favorite thing about HelloFresh is it takes the thinking out of dinner. They send you ideas, you can customize it to your own liking. We don't eat seafood like I mentioned last time, so we just opt out for that, but you can do vegetarian, you know, whatever. So they have such great meal options. Zucchini and tomato flatbread. Then we got cheesy prosciutto wrapped chicken. Like, I would never make that. No. Like, if they didn't send it and all the ingredients, I would never think to make yes. that. Yes. Also, miso. This looks like my favorite. Miso apricot chicken. I think that one might be good with the margaritas tonight. You want to try that one? Do you think I so? I like it too Maybe. that it comes pre-portioned where I... Like, I've never thought of doing miso apricot chicken. Yeah. But in the past, when I look up a recipe, I'm like, oh, I want to try that. And then I go spend 60 bucks yeah. on buying a bottle of sesame oil and sesame seeds or you have to buy literally every single yeah. little thing or i buy a whole packet of chicken because i can't well i guess sometimes we go to deli but well, but it's nice you, you can freeze it too yeah you get exactly what you want yeah. so that's my problem i go to the store and i spend 50 bucks on a meal that it's like what yeah which one do you want to make tonight this one if right. you guys want to try HelloFresh, I'm going to leave my code right here and down in the description for you to try it out. Honestly, we've mentioned this before. We actually have purchased and did HelloFresh back in Oregon years ago. We love it. We're huge fans. And their meals are honestly so delicious. We had all three of them last time, last month, and they were all yeah. so good. Uh, my favorite was... The first, I think the first one, we showed, the one we shared with you guys, that with one the mashed was, potatoes and the chicken, oh, it was so good. It was so good. All right, I'm gonna go to cycle and then I will be right back. What's up guys? If you can't tell, it's another day. So I went to cycle and I was completely toast and did not want to film when we got home. So we are going to make dinner, but before we do so, I'm gonna make us a little cocktail. If you guys follow on Instagram, I have the recipe in a reels over there. It's my apple cider margarita. You guys, it's so bomb. I'm gonna make it with you guys over here, but if you want the recipe, I'll put it down in the description. If you guys like our recipes, like our margarita recipes and stuff, go follow me over on Instagram. I do reels on new drinks from time to time. My next one I think is gonna be a 
Can you guess? Zach? Um... We talked about it. It's gonna be. No, 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 I wanna guess. Okay. So, is it a seasonal one? No. Oh, I know, uh, espresso martini. Yeah, or and chocolate martini. I, I rimmed the glasses already, so I do a mixture of cinnamon, sugar, and kosher salt. So cinnamon, cane sugar, kosher salt. This one was a little too salty, but Zach might actually like that. And then this one has a little bit more cinnamon on it. I do think that those really cut back on some of the sweetness from the apple cider and make them so good. Okay. So if you really want to impress some people this holiday season, this drink. This is a good one. Even, so we made them in Oregon for our family. And even some of our family members that aren't really like into sweet really liked them. I'm not a big sweet. I, I like like one of them sweet. I want it. Well, not that you need to drink two or three. Yeah. But one is like, oh, that's perfect. But I think my sisters all added more tequila to it. Well, I made the, it in a oh, picture, yeah. so it was completely different. It's harder to control it if you yeah. make a big picture. Yeah, I, like I feel like you always want to make it like each individual one. I think that really does make one it or two. At a yeah, time. one or two at a time. Because if you make a batch, it's harder to control it. Plus, things could get. Okay, so that made one drink. Now I'm gonna make the second one. I have it pulled up here on my phone, my reels. So again, that was two ounces of Blanco tequila, four ounces of fresh apple cider. I don't know how fresh this one is, but last year we had fresh apple cider and oh man, it was so good. Yeah, it was so good. It was so good. Half ounce of fresh lime, half ounce of fresh orange, a tablespoon of maple syrup with that cinnamon, sugar, salt one. You ready to cook, babe? Uh, yeah. Mmm, this just like is making my mouth water. It looks so good. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, babe. You forgot the garnish. I know, but it's okay. Oh. This is way better than the ones I made in Oregon. Uh -huh. I it's because I didn't measure. Yeah, like this one you get the tequila, but then you get the sweetness. Mm. We shared the options with you guys the other day. I still think this one. Yeah, miso apricot chicken with garlic, ginger, rice, and zesty carrots. That kind of sounds like fall. It does. It kind of goes with our Let's get drinks. it. Shut I'll get up the bag. Okay. I'm going to clean up all of this. Or like set it aside because you know we're going to be having another one. Because <laughs> you need one for like making the dinner and then you need one with dinner. So as we mentioned, HelloFresh is a meal delivery service. Everything comes pre-packaged, which is so nice because you have so much less food waste and everything's just kind of ready to go for you. Like tonight, we had... We actually had plans to go out on a date, but the restaurant that we really wanted to go to didn't have any reservations available. So this came really in handy because it's like these dinners, every single one we've ever had have been really yummy. So they're really, really good. I just think it's stuff like, obviously we are always gonna use garlic, but like they did a clove of garlic. Yeah. Just like this much ginger. And so much Like less one lime, so you don't, you know, like that much yeah. green onion. I usually buy a bundle, which is cheap at the store, but it's like, then we usually don't use it again. Yeah, you got, you got some uh, salt in your well, beer. What's this one? Miso concentrate. Our apricot jam spread, it's cool because it comes just in the packet. Yeah. Because I don't want to buy a whole jar because I don't feel like I'd use yeah. it that often. And we talked about that last time, like, it's the worst when you want to try a new recipe and you have to go buy all of the ingredients and you might only use a tablespoon. It's just really nice that everything comes like exactly what you need. And especially when you are really busy and you just don't wanna think. But we've also said too, like if you're someone who wants to get comfortable in the kitchen, this is a really great way. Yeah. If you move out on your own and you like- And there are like, all new ideas too. Yeah, and even not like, I have a friend who says that she's a terrible cook. Like it's a really great way to 
kind of like get you in the kitchen and have fun with it. So we also mentioned this before, but Zach and I, for whatever reason with HelloFresh, we all, we like to do it together. And it brings us in the kitchen together because sometimes Zach will make dinner and I'm working or, you know, I'll make dinner if it's like kind of my thing, but yeah, yeah, it's cool. These always make me feel so fancy, like, cause it's kind of like, like a night, like a, a restaurant. Yeah. It's like a chef dinner at home. Okay. Wash and dry produce. I know they do. Mm -hmm. mm. The rice is good. It's like gingery. Really? Mm -hmm. mm. I love these dinners because they are not like anything we ever make. Mm. That chicken good? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's good. Mm-hmm. Wow. It's good. Mm-hmm. It's like new flavors too, because we never buy ginger for dinners, mm -hmm. ever. And like Asian apricot, or whatever that sauce is called, mm -hmm. or apricot jam. Mm-hmm. Cheers, babe. Cheers. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's really good. I like this meal. I love it, it's really good. Thank you so much again, HelloFresh, for partnering with us on today's video. If you guys wanna check out HelloFresh, if you wanna try it, we do have a code. I'll put all the details down in the description. 10 out of 10 recommend. Yeah, it's good. It's really good. It's good. Mm -hmm. Today, I actually have quite a busy day and currently I'm sharing some new pieces over on Instagram that I got from Skims and Abercrombie, but I thought I would go ahead and share it here as well. But I'm also going to be filming a like vintage collection video where I share all of the vintage pieces that I currently have because they are probably my most asked home decor question. So I thought I'm just going to put it all in one video, try to link similar options because obviously they're vintage. There usually is only like, you know, one of them or they're super hard to find. So I thought I'm going to go ahead and just do that. So I'm doing that. But before I go, go film that, I thought, I'm going to share these outfits with you guys here on YouTube. So I am definitely a jeans and a bodysuit kind of girl or athleisure. So I usually go for jeans with a bodysuit or leggings and some type of top and, you know, tennis shoes. That's just what I go for, what I feel comfortable in, what I feel confident in. And it just kind of depends on what I'm doing. But anyway, this outfit i kind of stepped out of my comfort zone a little bit and got some leather pants or vegan leather pants so i'm going to show these to you guys so these are the abercrombie vegan leather pants and i love look at the booty are you kidding it's so lifted and i love that it cinches the waist let me come in like these totally cinch in the waist and really complement my curves and just you guys I feel like I want to go out to dinner right now. That is how amazing these jean, jeans, I always say jeans, these pants make me feel. They are just chef's kiss. They are so yummy. I can, I just know I'm going to wear these a lot this fall and winter. And then this bodysuit, I was like loving the Abercrombie bodysuits and then I kind of wore them, wore them, wore them, and then I started picking up more skims. And I do think I prefer the skims a little bit more. I think the quality is just a little bit better. And then also the cuts 
are nicer. I just think they're a little bit more flattering to my body shape, especially. So this is the Fits Everybody Square Neck Bodysuit. I will link this down below. I got a size medium, and this is in the color Sienna. These pants I sized a size down, and I think I got these in a 28. No, 27. No, 28. I got these in a 28, and I will say they have a lot of stretch. I, I would size down one size. So, and at right now I'm in between a 28 and a 29 for jeans. So I did size down and I'm glad that I did. They really cinch in the waist, but in such a flattering way. And I think it's because they do have some stretch. So, and then these shoes, I will link these as well. They are just so pretty with literally every outfit okay this is the next outfit which these obviously don't cinch in as much they're a little big around my waist but i still really love these they have like a, a split hem and i think that that adds like a lot of detail to like a pair of jeans or a more like basic outfit it just adds like another cute little detail but this is the exact same bodysuit as the other one I'm not wearing bras in these but I am wearing like a smoother shapewear that goes up right underneath like right here um, and it just kind of smooths everything out so I really kind of like to wear those I'll link some down below I'll link all of this down below this bodysuit is the skim size medium in the color talc and the other one was the color sienna both size medium but I really like these jeans they make me feel super like long like super tall which i'm not i'm five two so i just i love them i think that they're such a cute jean and the booty looks really good and lifted i also ordered the bandeau this is the third one i've purchased it in small medium and large these this just doesn't fit me but i kept trying because the reviews on this are so good but i don't know it just did not look good on my body shape so this is gonna be going back. What's up everyone? Today I am doing some shopping and I feel like it's been a minute since you and I have gone out, went shopping, looked at what's new. So basically I'm gonna go shopping for a couple of different videos and clients. So I'm finishing up some projects that I'm doing. I'm basically styling a couple of homes and I do plan on sharing that with you guys, but everything's been so delayed and it's been a little difficult to share. But today I'm gonna go shopping for like Christmas stuff. I wanna get my Christmas content up early this year and I really wanna start doing more home decor videos. Now the vlogs are still going to be happening. We absolutely love our vlog families, but I do wanna get back to more home decor videos. It's been a little while since I've been able to really spend the time making them, uh, just with wedding season and things like that. So I'm pumped. I'm gonna look for holiday decor, I want to get a couple things for my Thanksgiving tablescape. And then also, I was kind of thinking about doing some styling videos. It's been a long time since I've done some styling videos. I don't even think I styled my new coffee table that I built. If you missed that video, I built a coffee table. Um, so yeah, there's a lot that I want to do. And I am in like my everyday outfit this is like my travel slash shopping outfit these skims mock necks are the best i love these i just feel so confident with a pair of leggings and some tennis shoes i have my lulu fanny also let me do a quick little uh what am i what's in my bag let me show you guys what's in my bag so obviously my phone goes in there i also wanted to show you guys i put like little photos on the back of my phone of zach and i just with a clear case over the top and then i have my sunglasses in here i have some gum i have like all of my lipsticks so i basically just wear the same lipsticks all the time mm -hmm. and a lip balm so i love the kkw lip liners i don't know if you guys can hear that car sorry about that kkw lip liners i have the charlotte tilbury uh lip liner in iconic nude these are all like really gorgeous nudes i do kind of wonder what's what kim is doing with her lip liners or like are they coming back because i have not been able to find them 
Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in Kim KW. Um, Bare Minerals lip gloss in Groovy. And then just an EOS lip balm. And then my little wallet that I recently got. This is like the best little purchase I ever made. I love this so much because of the size. I can just put it in this bag or switch into like a fancier bag if we're going out to dinner or, you know, it's small. Like my other wallet was huge. This just holds my couple of cards that I need and some cash and that's it. So I have three slots in the back and it's super nice because when I have this on right here, I can just grab my wallet, grab these right out of the back. I don't have to deal with the zipper or anything like that. And then it has two slots on the top. I have like a gift card in here. And then in the front, you just open it up and I have some cash in there. So this little thing was worth every penny, but that's all I have. And then I do put my camera in my bag as well. And that's just basically what I carry in my bag. And then you guys already know how much I love this little fanny pack. I still wear it every single day. It's the best little easygoing, bag I have ever found. I love it so much. I also noticed a ton of girls at my gym have it as well. It's nice. It's like really a super good bag for shopping, for traveling, for amusement parks, for anything like that. But you guys, enough of all of that. Let's go shopping. That was the quickest trip into CB2 I think I've ever done. I was really hoping for, they have the most beautiful downswept Christmas tree. <sighs> if it was in store, I would have purchased it. I'm gonna put a picture right here because it is the most beautiful dreamy tree, but it wasn't gonna come in time for me to make content or like make Christmas um, videos and stuff. So I think I'm gonna skip on it this year. I might wait till the end of the season and if they have any more, order it. Hopefully it'll go on sale. I want it. It's so beautiful. But I did pick up, let me show you what I picked up. I got a tree topper. We actually do not have a tree topper. I don't think. Did I buy one? Oh, great. I might have bought one. Usually I know everything I got, how much I spent, where I got it, but lately, <laughs> tell you what, you hit 30 and you start losing your memory. Okay. I'm going for a, which is like basically my style every single year. I don't, like I really love traditional, just kind of like old world Christmas. So I got this star. It's very, very just like traditional. Nothing too crazy or special about it. But I felt like it was really timeless and I actually like to go for a little bit, hold on, sorry. A little more silver then I got these candles for fall my fall um, tablescape they're an olive green they're kind of more like a well, they're pretty olive green so they're like greenish brown so I got those and that's it that's all I got from CB2 I'm having fun already and this just started I'm gonna go to a couple stores that I don't get to go to a ton so hopefully they're open and I can share those stores with you guys because I haven't shared them actually here on the channel. I did vlog at them and then ended up not posting that video. Like I said, it has been a very crazy busy season, but I am back. I am ready to share. I'm ready to post. I just like am itching just to do decor, design, everything. I just want to share so much with you guys. So let's go.
talking because the music was loud in there and then also they were pulling a lot of their items because they were going to be doing a, a photo shoot they said so they were pulling a lot but i did get a lot of really good footage now a lot of you guys ask locally where i find some of my vintage pieces and my favorite way to find my vintage pieces is either on etsy which is not local but if i am buying them local at local like design boutiques because i feel like they have a, a little bit more of a curated selection where if i go to antique stores i have to do a lot of digging so to me it's almost easier to go to the design studio or like the design studios that have storefronts because they've already done the work for me even more than some of the antique shops i go to so i already go try to go to curated antique shops but going to designer stores like designers who have storefronts to me has been the easiest way to find pieces that i want because they're also really in style right now which is like such a like a nice thing for me a little moped going by but i recently you guys i told you in a couple of my videos that i've been super into watching arc digest and celebrity homes and just like kind of i don't know elevating my mind essentially for home decor oh you guys it's hot in here i'm gonna open this door oh no we're not doing the beeping trying to elevate my mind actually i really quickly want to show you this space so i think that they go by appointment only so this store has all of these like stone amazing stone antique stone but i think you have to make it by appointment look at how beautiful you guys are you kidding oh my gosh so i need to make an appointment it's called studio resource and look at how beautiful oh wow so recently i was watching arc digest and they shared oh gosh what was her name i cannot remember right now but she had one of these stones as a fire pit and i just thought that was absolutely brilliant and i want that in my home so we will for sure be recreating that anyway look at how gorgeous you guys oh my gosh and they have stone fireplaces oh my gosh so good so it's called studio resource so i gave you a little snippet i was gonna go up to the gate and try to get a little bit more footage but there were people they were sitting right inside at the door and they were obviously closed but what i was trying to tell you is that recently i was watching arc digest and i figured it out i was watching vanessa hutchins her home tour and she had one of those like stone basins essentially it was like a oh my gosh I'm gonna put in a picture I screenshotted it I put it in my vision board for our home and I would of course like do the whole vibe a little bit differently but when I saw that I was like I was incredibly inspired and just thought oh my gosh that is so me and my style and i for sure want to use that inspiration to recreate that for our own space and yeah we have a place here that i could totally come back to and get a big piece of stone and create that for our space and that's like the best thing and I love watching other designers, other people, and like getting inspiration because everyone does things differently, right? So you might see like, you might love certain things about someone's home, but you would do it in a different way. And I think that that's just so fun. And sometimes it's just like you, you see something and it's just like, oh my gosh, that is it for me. Like, I love it. So that's exactly how i felt with this whole fire outside fire pit situation and one of the reasons why i love watching celebrity home tours is because i mean they just have these budgets that just like make me dream and be able to visualize things on such a bigger scale ah, i'm so excited about that i can't wait to have that at our house because it's gonna be 
so fire. No pun intended. <laughs> Okay, you guys know that Willow's is my favorite. I love it, and they just got back from Round Top, so they, she was showing me all kinds of new stuff, and they have clothes and tons of like rustic vintage pieces, so I'm gonna walk you guys through. Look at all of these textiles. Were you telling me about this? These are handmade in Argentina. Uh, this one was made in Argentina. A lot oh of the gosh. items are also made in Bolivia by locals that live there. Okay. They've been doing this kind of work for hundreds of years, right? And, yeah. Um, so it's a really great company called um, Etnico, started by Etnico. Um, a local gentleman here. So he just kind of got the business going, and his family, they're importing stuff up here. And, and Bev was saying you can use this for like tabletops or for like a rug. Yeah, so okay. they would traditionally use this as a rug. Oh, okay. Um, but you, so you could totally use it as a rug. We love it on top of a table, on top of an ottoman, just kind of a, a nice piece to layer in. Okay. Maybe even the back of a sofa. For this yeah, thing. cute. It feels. It seems like really warm. Oh yeah, very warm. Everything that they make is all made from sheep or llama. Okay. And it's natural dyes. Oh wow. So it's actually the color of the animals. Fur. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's really neat. Some of the things are dyed using natural dyes. They have a couple things, the real vibrant colors, the oranges and reds oh, okay. that they do. Yeah. Um, are artificial, but almost everything else is natural. That is gorgeous. There you go. Oh. This is so you, Billy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I won't show your face. <laughs> okay, yeah. That could be a vibe. Cute. So, so cute. It's not that heavy. It's warm. Right? Yeah. That looks so, so with this, cool. With the jean jacket or anything. Yeah. Else, oh, really yeah. Cool. Like chambray. Yes. yes. Cute. That's really cool. And this chair is amazing. Yeah, sit in it. <laughs> is it? The old fashioned springs in it. Really? Is it comfy? Uh huh. Oh my gosh. It, it looks like yeah. it would be so pretty for like a gentleman's lounge. Oh yeah! Wow. <laughs> kind of tosses you right oh back my. Out yeah. Later. Oh my goodness, that is bouncy. Oh, it's. <laughs> yes. Okay. So she was showing me. Look at this little setup she came up with for the. Ho yes. I love it. So a good way to use your breadboards yeah. rather than just like well, charcuterie it's hard to boards. Find these small ones. Yeah, I haven't seen small ones. You got about three dozen of them. Uh, yeah, you have a ton. Yeah, Those are really good. Cool. Here's some more. Oh, so good. That's such a good idea. I love the. It just makes it gives it more layers. This is another one of those pieces. Oh yeah. Okay, so on the table. Another tabletop or rug. Yeah. These blankets. Let me show you. Okay. So that's one of the wraps. That they yes, the wrap. Okay. What? This yeah. is my favorite. We have it in a brown too. Oh my gosh. Real, like, look at all that. And it's like, it's, the quality is mm -hmm. unmatched. That is nice and like thick. You can like tell it's handmade. Yeah. This is one that's smaller, so this could be like a wrap. Cute. Or just a light topper. Oh, I love the these. Brown. The brown. I don't know. I like the brown. This is the width of the loom, so they just put oh. this in together that way. Okay, that's really cool. Yeah. It's very, it gives me very like Nate Burkus vibes. Yeah, because it's not like Southwest. No. It's authentic. To yes, you know, it's yes. Not a reproduction of something else. Yes. That's kind of like this table. Like I know Restoration Hardware has a table like this, yeah. but it's like if you can get the real deal. Yeah. It's, ugh, I'm it's like, like, try to lift that thing. Is it so solid. heavy? <laughs> yeah. See, oh, yeah. you guys just get it. You just get it. Oh, here's more of those breadboards. How fun! In all these different shapes. Yeah, I didn't even think about the plate. 
this is the other cool leather thing we got. Oh my gosh, it's she a was... leather day bed. Oh my gosh, who's that can like does it so pull out long? It, no, it extends so it wings out. What? <laughs> oh my So not like completely flat, but more like reclines where you could okay. put a in there and lean back, but Whoa. We're gonna have this repaired a little bit just to clean it up. But yeah. Super cool. So cool. I'm and the doors. This, oh yeah, these are neat. They're but. English. Yeah. They're English door panels from Apparently a very big house. Yeah. The, my, my dream house. Yeah. I'm going to have doors like that. <laughs> oh my gosh, those are so good. Yes, these leather. See, again, these are just like celebrity, what you would see in celebrity yeah. homes. Like just... One of a kind. Thing, mm -hmm. so. I think, what are they calling this style now? It's like rustic luxury mm -hmm. is like the new word. At Ooh. least on, yeah. on, you know? And it's like, I always hate because I'm like, People will think I have like a farmhouse. I'm like, no, it's not farmhouse. It's, not farmhouse, no. it's like European, like yeah. it's different. Yeah. It's different than. Patina texture. Yes. But then mixing it with modern stuff. Oh. Just really well. Mm hmm. Yeah, you have to. I feel like it's so good. This coffee table is I know, I love amazing. Coffee. Like in the scale of it, oh my gosh, if I had a house, I'd buy that like right now. It's amazing. Okay, look at these gorgeous, I love artwork like this. I will definitely have sketches like this in my home. You guys, they have so much good stuff right now. If you're local, you have to come in. But this coffee table is totally like restoration vibes, but obviously, you know, aged and uh, authentic look at this and then there's this table over here same it's like totally restoration restoration has stuff like this but it just it's not gonna have all of this like wear and goodness to it oh you guys I am so in love with this table and it's such a good price actually I want it. This table is so good. I love that. Okay, so they were telling me that this piece here, the lock and keys still work. Oh my gosh, it's just so good. We say we were good together